In order to make the desktop an easy experience for any user to adapt to, Novell did extensive usability testing through projects like betterdesktop.org. One of the things that we found from our studies is that naming things what users expect them to be helps users get around in the desktop. For example, down here in the bottom corner, we have this button called Computer, which is a central control for all things that the user may need to have. The user's applications are available readily right to the user, and the various features for controlling the actual computer, for controlling the system itself, are also available there. So we can actually start an application, such as our web browser, just by a simple click. There's a set of commonly used applications that are default in the favorites of this window. And also, you have the option for most recently used applications, as well as most recently used documents. So any other applications that I might be uh, using at any time can also be brought up easily. To find an application that does not appear in this default list, we have a More Applications button that allows us to search for any other applications. For example, if I want to find a spreadsheet application, I can just simply type S-P-R-E, and it immediately finds anything that matches those search results. If I use that application very often, I can simply right-click and add this to my favorites list so it shows up in that simple menu from now on. We have other things uh, for the desktop, like central controls here on the control center. When I click that, I can modify anything about the desktop, including things like my screen resolution or wallpapers, screensavers, and other items that personalize the desktop for the end user. Several things that people commonly use or commonly need on the desktop are also found in this one area. If we go right down the list of items that are here, we have things like whether you're connected to the network or not, and whether it's a wired or wireless connection. We have the hard drive on the machine, as well as how much free disk space is available. Having this kind of information readily available makes it a lot easier for your help desk technicians to support your end users. We have things like the ability to log out or lock the screen if you're going to leave it for a while. We have the ability to install software that has been made available by the network management systems. We also have the control center that allows for any customizations that may be needed. And finally, a help menu for getting other information about how to use the desktop. One of the most helpful features inside of the computer buttons menu is the search field. The search field allows us to type in anything that we want to find and look through all of our documents or our applications on the system. So if I type spreadsheet and hit enter, and within our search results that come up are the openoffice.org calc application, a few documents that contain the word spreadsheet, and finally, a website that had Spreadsheet on it as well. We'll cover more about the desktop's search capabilities under Personal Information Management. Another part of the desktop that makes it more usable are the status icons in the bottom right of the screen. Down there, you'll find such things as volume control, your power status, your screen resolution, and whether you're connected to a network or not. These icons in the notification area can be interacted with. For example, if I click the wired network connection here, I can switch to a wireless connection. For instance, this OneNet network. On the connection to the network, you saw a visual notification pop up before me, so I knew whether I was connected to the network or not. Visual notifications are also something that lets the user know what's happening with the computer. For example, if I lose AC power all of a sudden, a visual notification will pop up showing me that I'm now working on battery power. Another thing that's very helpful for users who are on the road is the ability to connect to a virtual private network or VPN. I can connect to it by the same element here with VPN connections so I can connect easily to my corporate headquarters. And this works with a variety of different VPN systems. Finally, even the clock applet in the system tray can be interacted with, and you can see things on it about your day. I can see an entire calendar for the month, and I can also see my most pressing appointments for the day.